Health officials now urging people to be cautious if they plan to attend the State Fair vaccinated or unvaccinated. Amelia Jones is live at State Fair Park with this year's COVID-19 safety measures. Starting Thursday, thousands will be here at State Fair Park eager to enjoy a statewide tradition. But with the recent surge in cases, the State Fair will be different. The hours of the fair this year are from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. to allow additional time for cleaning. Hundreds of hand sanitizing stations are set up. Fairgoers are encouraged to buy tickets ahead of time and use cashless payments. The fair will not sell reusable souvenir cups or refill past year's cups. There will be no eating contest. The daily parade will not happen and the activity stage at the Expo Center will not return this year. Masks are not required, but are recommended indoors. With the latest uptick in cases, health officials encourage people to follow CDC guidelines to protect themselves, vaccinated or not. First and foremost, um, if you're unvaccinated, you may want to think twice before going to an area uh, as crowded as State Fair. Given the current surge, uh, your risk of infection and severe disease uh, is quite high if you have not received the vaccine already. The new safety pr protocols, they're in place after concerns over spreading COVID-19 at large gatherings such as the Deer District watch parties. Health officials say 491 cases so far in the month of July came from those events. And while that number could still grow as more, state, more data is collected, health officials say that that number is not very significant compared to the overall rising number of cases across the state. Reporting live from State Fair Park, Amelia Jones, Fox 6 News.